Hey guys, what's up? So after making a video on why Normani's career has taken a turn for the worse, especially after the release of her album Dopamine, I wanted to figure out ways that Normani can revive her, in my opinion, dying music career. So let's get into it. Number one, change labels. Normani needs to change labels because there is no reason why she should have signed to RCA. There is no reason why she should have signed to Sony Music in general. I think the reason why she signed to RCA is because they don't really have really big acts on their roster. Or at least they didn't at the time she signed to RCA. Now they have Doja Cat, who is a cash cow for them. And moreover, this is what they do. They see that an artist is doing well on their label and they tend to put everyone else on a back burner. They may not totally ignore them, but they definitely don't give them the attention that an artist would need to get their names out there. And that is one of the biggest problems I see with Normani, her promotion. It's just terrible. I recommend moving to a label owned by Universal Music. You know, they're really good. Capital Records, Island Records, Interscope Records, Def Jam, Geffen Records, or even Republic Records. This is where, like, all the superstars are. Ariana Grande, Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift, Post Malone, Drake. All of them are on Republic and all of them are under Universal Music. She needs to move to where the superstars are. Although there might be a little bit too much competition, but the thing I really like about Universal is that they at least try to push their artists, at least from what I see. Number two, release Super Deluxe Dopamine. I think after all that has happened in terms of dopamine flopping, there really isn't any salvage in this album at its current state. Could be possible, but I don't really see it. So maybe re-release dopamine as a super deluxe album that includes all the past hits as like bonus tracks to sort of give fans a full meal kind of experience and also release videos for the era to give fans a sense of like something actually being done to keep them fed if this works she might be able to go on some sort of mini tour number three she can always cancel the era and start a new one sort of give fans something new to look forward to but this time around she can't waste time like the way she did with dopamine i feel like this is a good option but i know some fans will not be happy about her abandoning the dopamine era but let's be honest guys it's kind of already dead number four go pop. Pop money is what people want. Listen, and this is about to get serious, but I don't think Normani really understood that people didn't really care about what she wanted in terms of the kind of music to make, but rather they wanted pop music from a black girl, and she failed us on that. Almost every song Normani did before Wildside, with the exception of Waves, was heavily influenced by pop music. The whole hype behind Motivation was that a black girl was opening spaces in the pop world which has generally been occupied by white girls and they were kind of like projecting their desires through Normani. It was like their way of finally getting into the door. Not just a black girl doing pop music because a lot of that already exists but one who was just as famous and just as successful if not more than her white counterparts. This is the thing I feel like Normani didn't really understand which is why she didn't take advantage of people's desperation of wanting to see someone like her at the top. Instead, she saw the initial success and thought people were here for her. No, they were not here for her. They were there for what she represented to them. So the smart thing to have done was to capitalize for at least two albums and then after cultivating a strong fan base, doing her own thing. But as you know, things didn't really end up that way. Don't get me wrong, R&B is fine, but that's not what fans of Normani really wanted in the beginning, me included, and certainly not what the general public is listening to. Like, the general public is just not into R&B. So if you want to break out into the music industry and have a huge moment, you can't be really doing it with R&B. Maybe you'll have like one hit, but to have a sustainable career, it's just not viable with R&B, at least for now. Number five, EDM all the way to the top. I don't think a lot of people are aware of this, but EDM artists make serious bank and most people don't even know of them. EDM fans go to their shows just for the great music and that's it. They don't really want a personal relationship with their fans. They're not like as obsessive as pop fans. And I think this is going to fit Nomani's brand really well. You know, she can do a few EDM tracks here and there with a few 
notable producers like David Guetta or Zed or Calvin Harris, who she already has two songs with, and many more, Marshmallow, people like that. I feel like that can help her get on tours, do a lot of festivals. This way, there's less pressure in terms of like numbers because in the world of dance music, none of that really matters. Like your chart position does not matter. She's still gonna get paid big bucks. Like success in the world of dance music is people coming to your shows. Charts don't really matter. I do feel like she needs to be careful though because if she becomes too tied to the EDM scene, like if she becomes like a, a black version of BB Rexa, I don't think that's going to do very well for her career in terms of trying to get her um, that mainstream success that she's looking for because that's what I think Normani is looking for Normani is the kind of person who wants like her name as The main headliner of a tour or a festival or something and I also want that for Normani But I feel like if she does the EDM thing too much and she's not able to properly distinguish herself from every other artist She's going to be like too boxed in as an EDM vocals artist It's like she's gonna be like a rental voice kind of person, you know, and I, I just don't think that that's a good idea I don't think it's a good idea for a lot of artists, especially someone like Normani But you know what if things get really hard and desperate I feel like that's the best thing she can do in order to keep her name out there and have a chance to have a proper solo career. And then when she's done that for a while, she can always, you know, transition back into mainstream pop music or R&B music, whatever music she wants to do. Last but not least, she needs to get her face and her name out there at least for the next five years and then go back into hibernation. I know that Normani does not like all the attention, but if you want to be a successful artist, if you want to be known by the general public, you're going to have to at least put up with this for a few years. I don't know what else to say. She needs to put herself out there. Yeah. Also, let me know which other ways you think Normani can revive her career because at this point, she needs all the help she can get. I feel like if she wants to keep on with this era, this dopamine era, remixes are the way to go. Like the songs in their current state, for a lot of them, are not very good and they're not going to be huge massive successes that she will need in order for dopamine to get the attention it deserves to become a successful album i know that she wants to do a remix with brandy on the insomnia song i think that's a good idea um can be paint as is maybe not i think it's a great idea if she gets a rapper on it you know something to zhuzh it up a little bit it's like a lot of the songs from dopamine as they are are just not very good i'm gonna be honest so that needs to happen and she can do like a little mini tour because i don't know about you but i feel like if Normani decides to do a mini tour like the way JT did when she was releasing or when she was about to release City Cinderella, that's gonna work for her. I think Normani has enough of a buzz to do a mini like bar tour, like to tour bars to get her name out there. Because again, Normani needs all the help she can get. She can't keep acting like she's an established artist. That's just the truth. And definitely pop. Definitely do more pop music. People want more pop music from Nomani. It's the reason why she blew up in the first place. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!